special friends how are you uh today we will see the same chapter chapter number 12 and video number 44 okay in last two videos we have seen that rutherford's experiment and from that rutherford's experiment there was a concept of nucleus clear and what about electrons electrons are revolving around the nucleus in a circular path this was according to that rutherford's atomic model got it so let us see what was the assumption of rutherford's model according to rutherford the central part of an atom which consists of all the mass of that atom and it consists of positive charge and it is known as nucleus and electrons are revolving around the nucleus in circular orbit this was given by rutherford but but there are few problems which are the problems let us see why rutherford atomic model was failed let us see there are only two reasons let us see first reason according to the view theory okay according to the view theory when any charge is moving means moving charge emit the radiation got it means according to the view theory moving charge here moving charge is nothing but electron so here moving charge electron so this moving charge electrons emit what it emits radiation so why this electrons are moving it emits radiation and if it emit radiation it lose its energy right so because of this radiation its energy decreases correct if energy decreases then radius also decreases means according to the rutherford electron is revolving around the nucleus in a circular path that circular path will not be the circular because as energy decreases its radius of this circular path also decreases means instead of following this path electron will follow which path it follows helical path means here according to that rutherford the circular orbit will not be the circular but the electron having this type of path helical path got it simple logic is there according to their view theory when electron is revolving around the orbit in a circular path but why electrons are revolving around the nucleus in a circular path it emits radiation first point 
If it emit radiation, its energy decreases. Second point, if its energy decreases, the radius of that circular path decreases. So the path of electron will be not a circular, but it is helical. Helical path. After some time, this electron may strike to nucleus also. Okay? So, and because of this reason, there is a collision between electron and nucleus. Means hard fail. If electron collides with nucleus, the atom becomes unstable. It means Rutherford atomic model failed to explain the stability of nucleus, the stability of an atom. Right? So this is the first point why the Rutherford atomic model failed. It is failed because of what because of? Because of it is failed to explain stability of atom. Right? So this was the first point. Is it according to Rutherford, electrons are moving in a circular path? But moving electron, moving charge, it emits radiation in all the direction. Energy decreases, radius decreases. The path, instead of circular, it will be helical. There may be a collision between electron and nucleus. The nucleus become unstable as well as the atom also become unstable. So. Rutherford atomic model failed to explain stability of an atom. Okay, so there is one more point. So, point number two. According to that, electromagnetic theory. So, according to that electromagnetic theory, whatever the radiation coming out means the frequency of radiation means moving charge, electron, emit radiation, the frequency of radiation is same as frequency of revolution revolution of electron so whatever the radiation is emit that radiation having same frequency as frequency of revolution of electron around the nucleus if the frequency of revolution changes the frequency of radiation changes. Therefore, the wavelength of that line spectra, spectral lines, are also changes. Means, if frequency changes due to this lambda, lambda means wavelength of that light also changes means spectral lines having different wavelength but according to the magnet, electromagnetic theory the spectral line will having different values of lambda but while we are observing that spectral lines you will get the continuous spectra if frequency change lambda change the spectral line may not be the continuous, but, but the spectral lines which are observed 
it is continuous spectra got it means instead of lambda changes when spectra is observed the lambda will remain same so these are the two problems because of that rutherford's atomic model was fail okay then after what will happen that we will see after few seconds have a look okay so uh there was one scientist who was working in laboratory of the rutherford okay neil bohr he has made some assumptions and he came out from these two problems and which are the uh, assumptions that neil bohr has taken that is known as that is known as bohr's hypothesis so this was the topic of our video number 44 means bohr's atomic model as well as bohr's hypothesis bohr's atomic model why it was there because of this failure of that rutherford's model and to complete this model bohr has made some assumptions and that assumptions are known as bohr's hypothesis let us say okay so video number 44 it is about bohr's hypothesis Okay, so what was the failure? Why uh, Rutherford's atomic model was failed? That problems were solved by this Bohr hypothesis. First hypothesis. So, what is the first hypothesis? Neil Bohr has defined one definition that is about. stable orbit what is stable orbit before three videos we have seen the definition of stable orbit means electrons are revolving around the nucleus in a circular path why it is revolving it do not emit radiation clear so what is stable orbit so stable orbit are the orbits in which electrons are revolving without emitting radiation means the electrons which are revolving in stable orbit they do not emit any radiation so the chances of that collision with electron to the nucleus will remove okay so this is the concept of stable orbit what is stable orbit again i am telling you that means the orbit in which electrons are revolving without emitting radiation such orbit are known as stable orbit and the electrons which are revolving without emitting radiation such electron are known as stable electrons clear second hypothesis okay what is called stable orbit stable orbit having few condition 
which are they? First condition, let us see. The stable orbit are the orbits whose orbital angular momentum What is orbital angular momentum? 11th standard, chapter number uh, 7, rotational motion, right? So, orbital angular momentum, it having symbol L. This orbital angular momentum is integral multiple of H upon 2 pi. Got it? So, this is the condition of uh, stable orbit. What is stable orbit? The orbit whose orbital angular momentum is integral multiple of h upon 2 pi. What is h? h is nothing but Planck's constant. What is n? n is integer number starting from 1, 2, 3 and so on. If n is equal to 1, it gives number of orbit means innermost orbit. n is equal to 2, then second orbit, third orbit and so on. Okay? So, first about stable orbit, in stable orbit what will happen? Electron do not emit the radiation. Second hypothesis, what it calls stable orbit? The orbit having orbital angular momentum L is equal to NH upon 2 pi. Means orbital angular momentum is integral multiple of H upon 2 pi. Got it? And this orbital angular momentum having one more equation as per EOA standard, it is nothing but M V R. What is M? Mass of moving object means mass of electron, velocity of electron and R. R is the radius of circular path. Clear? Now third and last hypothesis. Got it? So, let us see when electron transit you know about that energy level. This is the first level. This is second level. Means higher to lower level. Suppose let us take its I level and J level. When electron transit from high energy level to low energy level, it emits the radiation and that radiation is known as photon. Got it? So, when electron transit from high energy level to low energy level, When electron transit from high energy level to low energy level, it emit radiation and that radiation is in the terms of photon. And this energy is equivalent to the energy difference. between that levels means high energy level its energy low energy level its energy take the difference and the equivalent energy is released in the term of photon means high energy level that is EI low energy 
energy level that is E J. According to that hypothesis number three, energy difference that is E I minus E J is equal to photon. Photon means H F. So this is about Bohr's hypothesis. Clear? See, it is very nice and very easy to first hypothesis. Stable orbit, electron do not emit radiation. Second, stable orbit, whose orbital angular momentum that is mvr is integral multiple of h upon 2 pi, where n is integer number, it indicates 1, 2, 3, 1 means innermost orbit, the orbit which is nearer to the closest to the nucleus. Then n is equal to 2, second orbit, third orbit, and so on. What is H? Plum constant. Right? And third, like this, high energy level, low energy level. When electron transit from high energy level to low energy level, it emit radiation. And that radiation is in the terms of photon. And the energy is equivalent to the energy difference. Ei minus Ej is equal to Hf. So, this all about today's topic, Bohr's atomic model and Bohr's atomic model is based on Bohr's hypothesis. Right? Special question will be asked as a two mark. Explain Bohr hypothesis. So you have to write these three hypotheses. Okay? Have a good day. Enjoy.